Uh, Catherine will tell us about this. Um, thanks, Erwin, for the invitation to give a short talk today about a project I s put much of my energy into the last three years. Um, let's see. Uh, no? Oh, yeah, here we go. Um, the name itself, Agri-Nature, it is a hint to what the project is all about. It's about agriculture, and it's about nature, it's, it's a fusion of both of these things. It's um, nature benefiting agriculture, agriculture benefiting nature. Um, we had uh, EU funding for this project through the Interreg program. We had a Hungarian partner. Um, we have finished the project. It's lasted for the last three years. Um, we were a partner in this project. We had also Sejini uh, Istvan at Yetem. Gabor Koltai was one of um, the colleagues I worked with in this project. And the lead partner was the city of Vienna, forestry and agricultural department. Um, we also had seven strategic partners, one of them Erwin, uh, Niederösterreichische Agrarbezirksbehörde, but several, Archer, uh, several others um, like the National Park uh, Nordsiedlersee and Fertur Hanschak in Hungary. Um, the main objective of this um, project was the sustainable promotion of biodiversity in agriculturally used protected areas. Uh, using the example of the National Park Donau and Moschenischik, which is a Natura 2000 protected area. Um, so let me give you a short look, uh, look into all the elements of this project. One of them, one of the modules was uh, re research. We did uh, agrobiodiversity monitoring uh, for several um, groups um, like the ground beetles here. Um, I did that myself. Ground beetles are important f uh, as pest control in um, agroecosystems. Uh, we also did a monitoring of field weeds. Um, field weeds are mainly seen as competitors for farmers, but uh, they also suffered a, a sharp decline since the 1950s. Many, many people don't know about that. Um, we had a look at wild bees which are important as pollinators in agroecosystems and also indicators for vegetation and structural um, diversity. Uh, we had a look at butterflies as well, indicators for vegetation diversity, and we had a look at birds. Birds also suffered um, a sharp decline in the last 30 years, and there is a good data basis for comparison. Um, the city of Vienna did a monitoring of forester knowledge. Um, they made a collection of local empirical knowledge of forest rangers. This was important um, because there is like, when you take a national park, you have 75% of nature zone and 25% of managed, so managed zone in the national park. And the city of Vienna wanted to include the knowledge of their forest rangers to um, transition more, much uh, of their um, managed zone into the nationals, into the nat nature zone. So they include uh, the knowledge of their forest rangers. Um, oops, sorry. <laughs> there was also a vegetation survey on selected monitoring areas on meadow regeneration areas, which uh, used to be arable land. Uh, this was especially interesting to see um, how are those areas developing if we don't do agriculture there? Um, our Hungarian partners did field trials uh, with old field crop varieties, and they also did a survey of ecological networks with birds and tree species. So, and for me, the most important part of this project, I'm sorry I didn't translate the title of this slide, it's the, about the development of uh, agri-nature strategy. Um, this strategy uh, 
was built on, on a participatory uh, process. We invited stakeholders and experts uh, to discuss uh, how we can enhance biodiversity. And uh, we had a startup workshop, we had several more workshops and meetings, uh, some of them online, some of them in person. We included the results of the monitoring and field trials. Um, we had a draft, we have a discussion of the draft, and we then we had the strategy. And that strategy was like the main output of the, uh, of the pro project. Uh, really important is also the communication of our outputs. Um, so you see the main results here, new visitor areas and the local implementation plans with impulses for biodiversity enhancing agriculture. Um, uh, because we heard to, uh, today about science connect, reconnecting with society, it was also equally important for us that we uh, uh, show what we learned so we designed new visitor areas in, um, in Vienna, but also in Mojo Madjarova. I am going to show you what we, had in, what we have in Austria. Um, the main objective was visitor direction. You uh, have to imagine we have the national park via, uh, Donau, which is the border is here. Um, they have like two million visitors each year. And there is that's a really high pressure on a nature protected area. So we wanted to offer recreational areas outside of the national park and also give education, nature education information on biodiversity in these areas. Um, and it also gave us the, the possibility to produce results to grasp for the, for the public. Um, and, um, Equally important is the communication and public relations about the project outputs. So we had uh, a project web website, we had like a newsletter about the project, uh, articles in print and online media, we had uh, courses, workshops, um, excursions, oops, sorry, you see here, small impression, this, is, uh, this was done by Bioforschung Austria. Uh, we had an information booth at the Europe Day 2020, 2022 this year. Uh, and um, we created a folder about the visitor areas. And last but not least, um, there's very much information about the project, much more than I can present today. Um, there is the possibility to look at all of, our, all of what we produced online, uh, either here or here. Uh, on the top, it's all in German, Hungarian, and English. So um, we wanted to be, um, to, to give everyone the possibility to, uh, um, to understand about the stuff we did. Like you see here, this one, this, this picture here, this is uh, an information board of the visitor areas and they're available online in English. And uh, if you go uh, outside in Vienna and there is a small QR code on every board and you can access the board in English. So, yeah. Thank you very much um, <laughs> for your attention. It was a really, really Thank short you. introduction into three years. Thank you, Kat Catherine. And it's, I think it's really a, a very strong project and they have created a lot of information and we encourage you to use the information.